All right, what's going on, boys and girls? This is a obviously a hardware review for a Compact Presario CQ56112 and R. I love OEM naming conventions. Great job. Um, this one is running on an AMD V140 2.3 gigahertz single core Uno one only one core processor, running two gigs of DDR3 1066 RAM, running a. Uh, both DIMMs are full, so remember that if you plan to upgrade uh, 250 gig, 5400 RPM hard drive, you're running on an ATI Radeon 4250 with some dedicated video, but you're still going to get the integrated effect, so it's going to steal RAM from you. Um, your screen resolution here is 1366 by 768 on a 15.6 inch screen. You have on one side your USB port, Kennington log to power port, and your DVD drive. On your other side, you have your VGA out. You have your headphone, microphone, Ethernet, modem, and your other USB ports. There is no express card slot for this model. I'll get into that in a bit. Um, so what does this come with, other than what you saw? Um, this is what I consider a back to basics type of computer. There is no webcam. There is no integrated webcam. There is no Bluetooth. And there is no USB 3.0 or no eSATA, or no express card slots. So this is very back to basics. But for what I paid for this, 200 bucks and under, um, it's very functional. So what's the good things about it? The price for entry is low. Um, it comes with Windows 7 uh, Home Premium. I mean, it, even at 250 bucks, you're paying 100 bucks for the computer. Whereas at retail, you can spend 100 to 150 just on Windows 7. Um, your RAM is up, uh, DDR3 and it's upgradable to 8 gigs. Your hard drive is obviously upgradable. Um, DVDR burner, which is a nice little addition, whereas uh, most systems that are going down in price and size that are running on the AMD Fusion systems are doing away with physical media. You know, your HP DM1Zs and your uh, Sony Vios, was it white Bs, if I remember correctly. So, those are some of the good things about it. Now, some of the bad things about it, and th these are more for specific groups. Touch typist. The extra row of keys on the side are for quick launches for programs, you know, Cyberlink, DVD, um, your calculator, your mail apps, and whatnot. They're nice to have, but if you're a touch typist like me, they're kind of a pain because you overextend on your, you're used to a certain way the keyboard is set up, and it's kind of a pain in the butt. So I always find myself overextending onto the um, quick launch buttons instead of like hitting shift or enter when I'm typing. Just kind of a pain in the butt. Um, but the biggest gripe I have, and I pretty much seems to be the consensus, is the lack of a defined edge on your trackpad. It's it's hard to explain. It looks like you can tell the difference, but the problem is it loses tracking sensitivity along the sides too much because of this contextualized pattern, and you don't realize it until you hit. You know, somewhere over well past where the boundaries of the mouse are. The other issue is that it's hard to click single mouse button that they have for left and right clicking, whereas opposed to most other laptops that have separate keys. So uh, who, who would I recommend this for though? Because of the low level entry to bury, uh, low level entry price, it's hard not to recommend it for you know, a student is just looking for basic computing. Someone that needs to, you know, take notes, do office documents, surf the web. Um, it runs Hulu. It runs Flash content perfectly fine because of the some of the dedicated video. Um, if you are a small business that is just looking to get some hardware that you need to be productive for, like I said, previous applications, you know, quick in those type of applications, this might be something you want to look at. Um, if you go into this expecting a great system for 300 bucks, 
are under, you're kidding yourself. So, you know, from an OEM level. Um, for me, some of my recommended upgrades, upgrade your hard drive to at least a 7200 RPM hard drive for a little faster throughput. Upgrade to your max RAM and make sure it's your DDR3 1066. So buy a two dim uh, slots. Other than that, um, this works fine for me. Small businesses, poor students, um, or students that don't have much money to spend, look into something like this. Seven out of ten in that regard. If you're going and expecting a great machine for three hundred bucks, you're kidding yourself, and you'll probably rate this in the negatives, and that's your own damn problem because you're not tempering your expectations. So you guys know what to do. Rate it, subscribe. Peace.